Hey guys, welcome back to SSD's weekly news recap, where we bring you the week's top cybersecurity updates. This week, we discuss a researcher discovering an SSRF bug in Google Cloud project and winning a big bounty, the GoDaddy data breach exposes more than a million customers, the Microsoft Exchange vulnerability used in a new reply chain attack, and North Korean hackers are behind a range of credential theft campaigns. We publish new videos weekly. Don't forget to press like and subscribe to our channels to stay tuned. Kicking off with our CVE of the week, an SSRF vulnerability in Google Cloud project. David Schutz, a security researcher, disclosed this vulnerability and received a bounty of $10,000. This SSRF vulnerability exists in the internal service Jobs API, which restrictions can be bypassed to send requests to other Google Cloud projects. Google fixed this vulnerability, but David discovered that the fix could be bypassed and won another big bounty while rechecking it. David recorded his discovery process in a blog and video which you can find in the description below. If you found a similar vulnerability, you can contact us at SSD's website. We handle disclosures quickly and discreetly with the biggest payouts out there. In other news, the GoDaddy breach exposes over a million customers. GoDaddy announced that a malicious third-party actor managed to gain access to its managed WordPress hosting environment with the help of a compromised password. The malicious actor used this password to steal data like email addresses and administrator passwords from 1.2 million users. GoDaddy is in the process of issuing and installing new certificates for the impacted customers. If you're operating a WordPress website, we advise you to check whether you've been compromised. Moving on, Microsoft Exchange is still being exploited in a new reply chain campaign. Researchers at Trend Micro discovered that new email campaigns are using the exchange vulnerability, but this time with a higher chance of infection. The threat actors in these new campaigns abuse the exchange vulnerability to reply to the company's internal emails. Using these hacked email addresses, the hackers spread malware inside existing email threads without raising the recipients or the email protection system's suspicions. The researchers who discover these campaigns advise users to keep their exchange servers updated. We advise you to do the same. And now for our last story, a range of credential theft campaigns run by North Korean hackers. Several malicious campaigns targeting organizations in North America, Russia, China, and South Korea were discovered to be operated by the well-known North Korean linked threat actor Kim Suki. These campaigns operated from January to June 2021, spreading through blogs that allowed the threat actors to change the malicious content according to their target. The campaign started as simple credential theft campaigns and shifted into a malware distribution campaign later. You can have a look at the researcher's full report in the description below. That's it for now. More details about what we just mentioned can be found in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on our other channels to keep up with the latest news and advisories and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly...